Hello everybody and welcome to a new video of Caveline, my Minecraft single player LP. I'm Fowler of course and as you can probably notice, my voice sounds a bit different. Uh, I bought a new microphone, this is the Yeti Pro uh, from Blue Electronics. Uh, it's really, it, like it sounds really good, I tested it quite a few times, my voice changes a lot of it and it's on me quickly. But I have been having a few uh, trouble trying to get the sound settings right and my inventory is full. I guess I can. Hmm. Well, it's not like I really need that. But I don't really like to leave stuff laying around. Let's quickly come up here and just deposit the spider eye. And some running flesh. And some space around for sure. Uh, but yeah, this, this microphone is really, really cool. Uh, leave, leave some feedback if you find the, the audio quality is great right now. I've been tinkering with it quite a lot <laughs> in like the last 30 minutes or so, trying to get it like spot on, but it might be still a little bit wonky. Uh, I hope it's okay. Also, I didn't buy a pop filter, which I should, because I, I heard a few popping noises and they annoy me, uh, especially with the wood pop, because that, that includes a P. And that's the, the popping word, uh, the popping letter, I should say. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I've been just uh, going in here. Uh, but you can see there's been quite a lot of changes to this table. So the first very obvious one is like the ceiling. You have the skylight. Also, the ceiling actually exists now. It didn't before. So that's pretty interesting. Also, there's this entrance, which wasn't here before. It's pretty much a copy of that, but in like small scale. I, I think it looks pretty good. And there's also the sides. The sides are my favorite for sure because there's sort of a unique um, aspect to them. It's not like a replica of that. And like there's a viewing window for each horse. So you can see that horse over there. You would be able to see a horse over here if there was one, but there's not. There's also these bunches which help illuminate place and they look quite nice. So I would say I did a very good job on this side. Um, not sure if you would say that, but I, in my opinion, I think it looks really great. Uh, it's it was a good success, I could say. Uh, I use quite a bit of wood, like raw wood, like this, and that sort of <laughs> that's sort of expensive, but I still have a lot. Uh, my oak wood though is like handing in. I didn't even think that was possible, but it is. Especially due to the cake, it uses mostly oak wood, uh, and oh man, there's so much. <laughs> so much oak wood there. Oh, these lines here, they look pretty jagged, but well, I guess that's okay. So my plan for today's episode is really uh, to just like open this up on the back and make the like final holding area where I will store all the non really relevant horses. <laughs> I guess I don't really even need a blizzard, I can just like let them live in the wild or something. But I, I want to keep them. Kill him too, but that would be that would be evil. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll clear this up. There's something really annoying about the snapshots that my efficiency doesn't work. It's like this is like a normal diamond shovel speed. It's not even like an efficiency two or something. That's that's so stupid. Oh well, I guess I gotta repair this too. Uh, I'll do that. I'll pick this up and try to set up our building. So I'll be back in a moment, I guess. Okay, I'm back with a little bit of a quick update. So you can see here, I sort of marked an area where I guess it's the place where I want my horses to be. Like those horses that are not as good as the ones that have their reserve spot. And therefore they don't really need all the space of their serves. <laughs> and redstone-y stuff. And, well, I think... This space should be okay. I mean, it's not really like I need much space. I can just jam them all in the single block. They should fit. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I want to keep some aesthetic holes. Oh, I don't even have any more food. That's weird. But yeah, I think this will be it. The space. I might expand it a bit because it does look a bit squeezed in here. But I guess maybe if we're coming through, it won't. I'm not sure. I would like this part, this bit here, to be connected sort of to the... So like you could see when standing on the block, 
uh, would be probably right here. You can like see the other horses. I don't know if any of the not as good relatives of my good horses want to talk to their um, relatives, I guess. <laughs> they will be able to do that, but well, it's just for aesthetical, <laughs> really. But yeah, I'm unsure how to do this because I wa was originally going to use fences, but I think I need some redstone door because fence, fence gates you would need two and I find it really inconvenient to have to open two up. Like, I find it pretty annoying. So, we'll see what I'll do. Uh, I'm very unsure still. I guess it'll probably lead up with a stair right here. And then the blocks would come right next. <laughs> right after it. Maybe, maybe the stair should be one block um, to the back right here. I think this would make it a little bit better. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Did I do it correctly yes I did <laughs> there's no dirt here that's weird let's place some grass I guess just because my my silk touch touchiness let's go back to the stairs and just place these spruce that that invisible one was not placed in the right spot there we go is that uh, oops I forgot this I think this will be it uh, it looks decent how oh, I gotta change these ones Take this off. <laughs> now this process you need to do while changing these little tweaks can get a little annoying after you do it too many times. Like I had to push this back like three times already. <laughs> but well, back to here. I guess there will be some sort of door here. I'm not sure. And here is just like connected. Hmm. So many dumps now. Really unsure how to do this. I guess I'll think of a way and like try to lay this out and do it. So I've been thinking about a door design and there there hasn't really been any progress. This has been like a few minutes. <laughs> uh, but the door design I think I'm going with is just like one sort of a shutter. So I'll leave this middle open and it'll be something like this. Let me try to explain. Let's take this out. This was just me laying out some stuff. So there will be like a few blocks over here and there will be wait this is it should be like right here a few blocks oops I don't have any more blocks <laughs> a few blocks over here of course they're gonna be uh, just like this one they are not gonna be like that um, rotated I mean <laughs> uh, I want them to keep like this so when they drop down they look good well, I guess maybe it could change it. I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is just the layout. And what would happen here is just like a piston would push these. And they would sort of squeeze in like this. And this way, let me just do a quick section here. You can see uh, the ground floor is going to be about here. And the horse can't get out. But when I open the door, they would be able to get out. And I'm not sure if... Uh, there's gonna be pistons uh, underneath every single one of these I might just do like the tree in the middle opening because otherwise when I open the door like the horses might flood out just everybody goes away and I'll be left with horses or I'll have to go collect them which might be very annoying and I want to prevent that so I guess I, I could have left these here couldn't I why am I taking them out well but yeah, let's get to work. I'll grab my redstoning stuff, try to do the door, and I'll show you the probably the completed product, try to explain it. So let's do it. It is actually another day, and I messed a little bit of the microphone setting, so if it sounds a little bit different, uh, that's why. I think this is a little bit better, I hope. But anyways, uh, you can see the door here has suffered some progress. You can see I changed a bit the idea. It was really hard to implement pistons on the top of without altering the the ceiling like because if I go outside really quickly here I can pull up with dirt I guess you'll see that it is completely fat flat <laughs> not fat it's not fat at all but yeah it's flat my my insta mine is working again because of a new snapshot uh, and I didn't really want to alter the ceiling but I did it on the bar button and here 
I made actually fence posts because fence posts don't damage me so the only reason it had to be tree high was because here let me open it when I'm passing with a horse here my head is gonna be like here and if it hit a block it would damage me and by implementing the fence post the same way I have them here and here uh, works quite well so I like that and this is how the door works you press that button and it sort of switches over the pistons that are holding the door here started making the floor here but not much progress has been done uh, this is the wiring for the door it's very simple to be honest uh, there's this piston which will receive the input of the button and will move this block on top of the torch and that is just so that I don't have to that's just to get it input really because if I place the redstone on top of this block and get it input that way it will power this in a way I didn't want to do but anyway <laughs> coming back here the input comes out here and then there's a piston on the bottom and it works just the same way as this here where it gives a one tick pulse and this one tick pulse will power eventually be led to powering out these pistons and that way they will leave the block on top just the same way I did with the these gates here so I guess it's just a, a bigger version of this gate and instead of taking a input from this right here what's the name of this trip wire it takes the input from a button and oops that's not the button there we go. You can see it works perfectly, I really like it. And now I just gotta fill in the floor. So let's do it. So I'm back and well, this is pretty much complete. There's like a few minor details that I need to fix. I even placed all the other horses that were sitting over there. You can no longer see them there because they're now here. Uh, I do like how it looks. I sort of skipped a lot of the building process, but you can see here it's sort of a big version of those small things. Uh, I'm standing here so they don't go out, but well, I guess we can show it off. There are like water here, some hay bales, uh, the, the bushy things, and there's some lighting instruments there. Glowstone, <laughs> that's very useful. I was having quite a lot of trouble with lighting here. Don't, don't go out. <laughs> oh, he, he really wants to go out. No, no, don't do that. Oh, oh I have a lead. Guess I should use that. Come on, back in. There we go. And I can close this off. They can't get out anymore. And I have all my horses stored here. I guess they can climb up there, but that's not really a big of a deal. Also, I placed the donkey here, even though I, I don't think I even tamed him. But I'm pretty sure I'll be using him for storage as soon as I tame him. But I need some saddles. And really, I, I think I only have one. And that's horrible. So my idea was to build something that can get you saddles and the only thing really that can get you saddles in this game that is not by exploring a cave or a dungeon or anything like that is by fishing and fishing is really boring. So I'm going to be doing one of those AFK machines because uh, they're good <laughs> and they're better than fishing stand alone just searching for settles, especially because there's gonna be a lot of fish before it settles. It's gonna be even like, uh, if I get a, a rare drop sort of thing, it won't. It might not even be a saddle for example. I'm just showing off the back here by the way. <laughs> uh, this the side is pretty much identical but the back's a bit different. Uh, I like it. Pretty, pretty interesting. Quite a bit long but I like it. And yeah, so the place we're gonna be building the, the fishing place, fishing, AFK fishing machine, I guess. That's what I should say. I was thinking of doing it right here close to the horse stable, but instead, I think we should go back to sort of where this pro project started, back in the cave. And the last construction here was the farms, which I haven't finished anything yet there, but I'll, I'll finish it soon. So this is the tree farm on the left, and on the right there's a lot of space which I haven't really used yet. And that's what I'll be using. <laughs> I hope it looks great. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to do it because there's so much space here. I'm just gonna like plop farms all along it. 
Uh, of course, the fishing one will be right here in the start. But I'm not sure how it's gonna look. Also, the building materials in the inside are different. Meaning, I don't think I have any sandstone. <laughs> so I'll have to collect some of that too. But I don't think this machine is really big. I haven't looked up any designs. I will try to make my own. I sort of understand how it works by using the door mechanics and fishing rods, the way the, the way the way the game works basically. Oh there's some gravel there. Um, so I'll try to make my own. Uh, if I succeed, <laughs> I, I might even do a um, oops, sorry, I might even do a tutorial. I guess that could be fun. Been a little while since I haven't done any tutorial and for some reason my skin just like bugged out here. Like I'm black with purple arms. Uh, I guess I could just throw this on the ground so you can see. Makes no sense. Look at this. Oh, and my back is purple too. N not sure what happened to my skin. I'll try to fix this as soon as I can. Probably even today. I'll try. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to let's get to the building. So here's my final design. Well, I guess this is pretty bare bones. Of course, I'm going to be making it look prettier, but. This is how it works, it's very simple. Uh, I would get the, my fishing rod sent here, and then I would aim about on the bottom of that half slab, and just hold it, and as soon as I do that, the fishing bobber would go to, it's sort of in the water, that's just a visual glitch, it's actually on top of the water, and hitting that trip wire. And because of that, the trapdoor deactivates and closes, and then, because it's closed, uh, my fishing rod won't retract or go, it just stays like that, but, but me making that movement, because if that's like the open a door movement, but I can't open a, an iron trap door. So if I just stay here for a moment, you see that eventually you'll catch a fish. So you saw I just got, got one there. I had tested it already, so I have two in my inventory right now. Uh, this is just a bare bones fishing rod too. It's not like I made anything special still. I'm probably gonna enchant one as soon as I have enough levels to. But here you can see it's very simple. There's like a torch and a breadstone <laughs> and a trapdoor and two trip wires with a string in the middle. It's very simple. So you can see it redirects to the trapdoor and that's just about it. I guess you could use a door, like an iron door instead of a trapdoor too. That should work. But, but I use the trapdoor, I like it for some reason. I'll probably hide in some lining here or something. Uh, it's, of course, it's super bare bones here. It was just for me to explain, but I'm, I'm gonna alter it. Make it look decent, I guess. So I guess I'll be doing that. <laughs> so I'm actually running out of time, like episode time. I still have a bit of time to work with. And I wanted to do something else this episode that might take like 10 minutes or so. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll leave this at that. Probably next episode I will come and fix it because I, I just thought right now that fishing rods break super easily. If I press F3 age, you can see it here, 64 uses. Like you can get 64 things with a fishing rod and that's not really much. So uh, what, I, what I was thinking was to make one of those machines that constantly shoots an item which would be fishing rods, and they would land right here. There will be a hopper here, which will bring it back to the system. It will be just rotating there until my fishing rod breaks, and after it breaks, it will eventually come into my inventory. But to do that, I also need there to be a hopper right below here to catch the fish, because my inventory must be full for that machine to work. And I'll probably just place a chest here or something. Not sure. <laughs> but, well... Me and my purple arm here. <laughs> We're going up top, and I'm. Oops, I just said my mouse there. Apologies. We're going up top, and I'm just gonna show you, show you what we're gonna be doing next. Do you guys hear that sound? Because it sure can. And every time I come here to sleep, because it's night, uh, especially when I was working on the stable, because this was the bed I was mostly using. 
the sound just kept annoying me. And you know, it, it's actually a good sound to hear because it means my machine is working. So the cake is doing the work. Doing really, really nice work. Still gotta make the cake look a little bit prettier and it probably won't look like a cake anymore, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the thing is, I've forgotten to build something to sort of use those mobs because they're just sitting there and then they spawning and then sitting there and then this spawning and tons of mobs have already despawned there and instead of having that why we don't build anything extra here i think i'm going to make some please something that kills them um, or something i'm not sure but i'm unsure how to do that because my whole construction is made out of wood and that also means that my whole construction would catch on fire with lava, so that gets out of my options. I don't really want to have a clock, so I will trash um, crushers as well, for that reason. Uh, I'm still thinking of how to do drowning, and that will probably be it. It will be a very um, sketchy system right here, because it's temporary, and then I'm gonna change it. But let, let's just do it. Problem is, there's gonna be tons of mobs falling in my face as soon as we open that and aren't there. Oh well, I guess. Oh, I still have the, the old materials here. Just let's support these and get a few new ones. If I had any storage space, you know there's like a storage room all around me. And I'm here storing stuff in this little chest. I should really use the storage room. I guess I'll get rid of these. And I'll probably need some ladder, so. Pick those up. Uh, and I need some wood, of course, probably some glass, and let's just go up top. Let me show you the plan. I can hop on here, oops, I can't. There we go. So I'll probably... Hard. Okay, let's do something like this. It's, I know it's one disconnected from the ceiling, but it's not gonna be anymore later. Just temporary anyways. And it's probably just gonna be a funnel here. They will eventually get down here. About this level is great. There will be water pushing them like underneath here and there will be water on top. That's a very brief description I could say. But I think that should work. So I guess I'll do this really quickly and I'll be back in a moment. So you can see I, right here, it's not really anything special, it's just a little box. Uh, it's even a little bit crooked there, I guess I should fix that, I can do it. Uh, let me quickly go up there, it's not really hard to fix. Let me just make this jump, go up here, I can remove all these, oh uh, yeah, there's a layer, that is great, because if there was not dead. <laughs> okay, I just place some of these and then let's go to the side, the other side, I should say. Oops, that's not right. Man, this sound is so annoying. I gotta really turn it off. Sound, sounds, where is the hostile creatures? Please don't make any more sounds. Okay, everything's so silent now. Hope I don't get blown up by a creeper because of what I just did, but anyways. There we go, that looks better. But you can see, it's not anything much special, you can see right from right here. It's just some water leading up to a drowning system which has hopper be hoppers below. And these hoppers are gonna collect these into these three chests. It's of course not the most efficient manner because for example, if this chest on the right is full and a mob dies on the right, even though there's space on the left chest, the drops won't go there. But I don't really care at the moment, <laughs> because as I said, this is temporary. Uh, the design of the final machine, when I build it, when I remove all of the stuff from the middle, take off my bed out of here, uh, they will probably be uh, like the same style I did right here, but they will be way more efficient. Uh, but we just gotta do the thing that I don't wanna do. Well, let's sleep first, That that is sort of safe fish. Uh, let me turn up the sound just a little bit, I guess to 10, oh, that's 9, 10%, there we go, and jump off here, 
jump up here for a minute. We just need... I'm, I'm totally gonna die if I do this. I don't wanna die. Okay. Wish me luck. Okay. Thank you for removing everything. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. Uh, okay, I gotta remove this sign and... Oops, there we go. Man, there are so many mobs there. That is insane. That's gonna take a while to draw out those guys. Uh, let me take a superior look right here. How, how can I do that? Can I... Oops, that's not the right way to jump. Nope, that, that's not either. I didn't sprint there. There we go. There's so many mobs right here. Man, this, this cake is working insanely well. I thought it would suck because it was just I I don't know much about mob systems. I just trying to do my own thing here and it, it's doing great. I can say that. Just just look at all those mobs. Uh, so I guess we'll just wait those guys to die and see how much. Uh, let's see if the machine can even keep up, which it might not be able to. Um, but yeah. Go back in here. Oh, it's night again. I thought he just left. That's weird. I guess I might have pressed leave bad. That, that, would, that would be stupid of me, but I might have done it. Hmm. It's very interesting how that works. Uh, I'm liking it. And, <laughs> well, that, that uh, it looks odd, but it, it's working well. There's a bunny skeleton to my right here. Guess I'll go there, collect his drops. Oh, he, he survived, but he's dead now. Ooh, I'm full. Guess. Oh, let, hmm. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'll just wait those guys to die, and then I'll see their drops. So after staring at this for a little moment, I just noticed that the spires are not gonna die by my drowning system right here. <laughs> because they are only one block tall. And that that's not really good. I think they might even jam the system. I guess that's maybe why people don't like spiders on their, on their spawners, but I, I would like spiders just to make a completionist. For example, zombies on the spawner are pretty pointless too. Uh, but, well, just just as a completionist, uh, you can see right here, I've been getting lots of stuff. It's been like five minutes or less. <laughs> so it is insanely fast. I guess it's just because they were jammed up there already. But, but I, I like the progress. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing about the spider problem. I have to think that over, but unfortunately, I think I'll have to end this episode right here, guys. It was a great episode in my opinion. Uh, I enjoyed doing it at least. Not sure if you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you did. Uh, I really like how this turned out. It's pretty much complete. I think there's only some lighting issues I gotta deal with because I don't want mobs spawning in there. And there's that too, which will be providing me lots of stuff until I do something proper with it and that something probably will hopefully be I'm not sure if next episode or hmm, it might be in a few next episodes I'm not sure it's quite a big project but I want to pre up the cake too and I need to finish up the farm that we just built down there in the cave and yeah that's about it uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time guys bye bye <laughs>